Welcome to this Windows channel and this is um, a little update on uh, how to prepare basically you know it's kind of a video that I do every time we have a new version of Windows coming so in a few weeks from now um, everybody will start to have a rollout of the spring creators update of course um, most people don't do what I'm going to actually talk about but it is something that is and should always be done um, regardless so spring creators update of course start rolling out in the first weeks of april probably for everybody and it is a big update once again you know it's really a major new version of windows that installs on your pc that upgrades your system in the majority of cases nothing bad happens in the majority of cases things go well but still, I want to just say, if you have a lot of data on your computer, if you have a lot of things that you don't want to lose, always remember that a backup is a great idea. Technically, every time there's such an update, you should have a backup of your data, just in case. There's always a possibility that, you know, small possibility that things can go wrong. And, um, you know, when somebody comes up to me and says, well, you know, thanks to that update, I lost everything. Um, you know, for me, the problem is not the update. The problem is the person. It's you. You lost everything because you're careless and you don't never back up. And, you know, when I hear people say, well, you know, why should I, I need to back up? Even if it's not for a update like this one, one thing you got to understand is that hard drives crash. Computers have problems. You might lose data for another reason. You might have a virus. You might have something that will, um, you know, a, a, a malware that will encrypt your data. And uh, that there's all of these possibilities. When you have sensitive data, when you have data that can't be uh, replaced, you know, pictures and movies and videos and all sorts of things like that, documents that you might have worked on, you always need, and you know, the safe practice says at least three different places for all your data at the minimum at least two um, you know one might be a external hard drive or usb thumb drive depending on the amount of data you've got but don't you know remove it from the pc you keep it on the pc and on the external drive external drive crashes you got it on the pc your pc crashes you got it on the external drive it's very important to understand that. So that's pretty much the way, uh, the first, you know, thing you should do. You know, um, removing unnecessary uh, unnecessary software is also another good thing to do. Basically, you know, go through your list of programs and, and check out what you might want to remove from uh, your computer. So you can go, you know, into, basically into um, your settings. So let's just uh, here... Um, go back down to this here we go so you go into your settings and you go into apps and here you will see every single program installed on your PC you'll be able to click an uninstall button for whatever you don't use so when you go through here and you say yeah okay I don't need uh, for example this well there's an uninstall button or whatever you don't want to have so it's important to uh, you know just make sure that you remove unnecessary software it you know sometimes it could happen that a piece of software that you have installed creates a problem when an upgrade goes or if the upgrade can't go through maybe it could be one of those you know little pieces of unused software that uh, creates a problem so uh, you know make sure that everything is uh, clean and uh, you know, it's kind of a spring cleaning time basically but uh, the most important thing is really, really to back up. And, um, you know, another way to back up is to uh, have the uh, automatic sync of uh, OneDrive, for example, which might actually, um, you know, have you back up your uh, computer to the cloud automatically without you really thinking about it. So uh, little details. And for the rest, well, you know, it should actually go well for the most of us. Um, the first real moments we'll see if everything is all right is in the first weeks first 
you know, two, three weeks of the rollout of the creator's update, the spring creator's update. We'll see if everything goes well. But for now, you know what? The last two updates, uh, anniversary update and um, creator's update, not that, sorry, not anniversary update, creator's update and fall creator's update, uh, both went pretty well, unlike, and that's what I wanted to say, anniversary update that actually had a few problems. So, uh, of course, we'll keep you updated on the situation when we know what official date is the release of Spring Creators Update, but it's expected to be early April for most people that it's going to start rolling out. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.